TCA cycle. TCA is tricarboxylic acid cycle named so because citrate and isocitrate are tricarboxylic acids. Citric acid cycle because first product formed is citrate. Nature of pathway is amphibolic, which is catabolic and anabolic. The site is mitochondria. It occurs only in aerobic conditions and occurs both in fed and fasting state. TCA is called a cycle, not a pathway, because it begins and ends with oxaloacetate. Amphibolic role of TCA. Catabolic role of TCA. Macromolecules finally form acetyl coenzyme A, which enter the TCA. Anabolic role of TCA is that many intermediates of the citric acid cycle synthesize important compounds. Steps of the citric acid cycle. Step 1. Condensation step. Acetyl coenzyme A joins oxaloacetate to form citrate. The enzyme is citrate synthase. Oxaloacetate is the first substrate of the citric acid cycle and is an irreversible step. Questions about oxaloacetate. It is a carrier of the citric acid cycle, first substrate of the cycle, and has a catalytic role in the cycle. Step 2. Conversion of citrate to isocitrate. Citrate is isomerized to isocitrate in two steps. Dehydration to cis-aconitate and rehydration to isocitrate. It is a reversible reaction inhibited by fluoroacetate. The enzyme aconitase is a lyase. Step 3. Conversion of isocitrate 6C to alpha-ketoglutarate 5C. Isocitrate undergoes dehydrogenation by isocitrate dehydrogenase to form oxalosuccinate. Oxalosuccinate is decarboxylated to alpha-ketoglutarate 5C. Decarboxylation requires magnesium ions or manganese ions. It is the first oxidative decarboxylation and one NADH is formed. This is a reversible reaction. Step 4. Conversion of alpha-ketoglutarate to succinyl coenzyme A. Alpha-ketoglutarate or 5C is oxidized to decarboxylated succinyl coenzyme A, 4C. It is the second oxidative decarboxylation and one NADH is formed. Physiologically, it is a unidirectional step. Alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase is inhibited by arsenite, multi-enzyme complex similar to pyruvate dehydrogenase which needs five coenzymes but not regulated by phosphorylation and dephosphorylation unlike pyruvate dehydrogenase. Step 5. Conversion of succinyl coenzyme A, 4C, to succinate, 4C. Succinate theokinase or succinyl coenzyme A synthetase. Convert succinyl coenzyme A to succinate. 1 ATP or GTP is generated in the liver and kidney during starvation. This enzyme produces ATP only substrate level phosphorylation step of the citric acid cycle. Step 6. Conversion of succinate 4C to fumarate 4C. Succinate undergoes dehydrogenation by succinate dehydrogenase forming fumarate. The enzyme contains FAD and iron sulfur protein. The enzyme directly reduces ubiquinon in the electron transport chain, a part of complex 2. 
It is the only enzyme in the citric acid cycle attached to the inner mitochondrial membrane. Succinate dehydrogenase is inhibited by malonate. Step 7. Conversion of fumarate to malate by hydration. Addition of water across the double bond of fumarate forming malate. The enzyme fumarase is a lyase. Step 8. Conversion of malate to oxaloacetate is the final step in the citric acid cycle. The enzyme is malate dehydrogenase. Malate is dehydrogenated to oxaloacetate and 1-NADH is generated. Oxaloacetate has a catalytic role like ornithine in urea cycle. Regulation of citric acid cycle is by citrate synthase, isocitrate dehydrogenase, Alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, pyruvate dehydrogenase, is also considered as a regulatory step of citric acid cycle. Energetics of the citric acid cycle. The reaction is isocitrate dehydrogenase. Method of ATP production is 1-NADH, enter ETC. Number of ATP generated is 2.5 ATPs. Reaction is alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. Method of ATP production is 1-NADH, enter ETC. Number of ATP generated is 2.5 ATPs. Succinate thiokinase. Substrate level phosphorylation. Number of ATP generated is 1. Succinate dehydrogenase. Method of ATP production is 1 FADH2 enter ETC. Number of ATP generated is 1.5 ATPs. Malate dehydrogenase. 1 NADH enter ETC. Number of ATPs generated are 2.5. Total number of ATP per turn of TCA cycle. The number of ATPs generated is 10 ATPs. Energy yield from one molecule of glucose under aerobic condition. Source. From aerobic glycolysis, there are seven ATPs generated. From pyruvate dehydrogenase, as two pyruvates from one molecule of glucose. The number of ATPs generated is 2 NADH, which is equal to 5 ATPs. From TCA cycle, as 2 acetyl coenzyme A from one molecule of glucose, number of ATPs generated is 2 times 10, which is 20 ATPs. Net ATPs from one molecule of glucose under aerobic condition. It is 7 plus 5 plus 20, which is 32 ATPs. Net ATPs from one molecule of glucose under anaerobic condition. It is 4 minus 2, which is 2 ATPs.